Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you are new, welcome. My name is Kelly and today I wanted to start the first video of many for a story time series that I will have on my channel where I talk about some of the unique and crazy situations that I've seen as a real estate agent. So today I wanted to discuss with you guys my first, not my first, but one of my first experiences door knocking as a real estate agent. So um, at this time, I was about a month or a month and a half into real estate as an agent, and I was hosting an open house with one of our other associates within my office. And so we're doing the open house, and towards the end, we had an older gentleman that came in, and let's say his name is Jeffrey. So Jeffrey comes in and he's saying things like, oh my gosh, this house is so beautiful. I've been looking for the perfect house and this looks like it fits my criteria with everything that I've been looking for. And he's been waiting for a good time to sell his home and he's been waiting for a while and he feels that he's finally ready. And he was just everything that a real estate agent wants to hear from a potential client this guy was saying like he checked off the list like he was motivated he was ready it's like okay let's go so anyways we walk through the house we're having a good conversation and so he ends up signing in on the sign-in sheet he wrote down his name and his address and he didn't write his phone number so I went ahead and I was going to follow up with him because he sounded like he was super serious about purchasing and selling his home in the near future. So I went ahead and I was looking up his address to see where he lives so I could go um, follow up with him in person. And so I looked up his address and I noticed that the address that he gave, the actual street number, didn't exist. But the street was like not very far away from where we had hosted the open house. So I went ahead and did a radius search in that area through the resources that I have as an agent. And I did like a reverse lookup where I looked for any property owners that owned a home in that immediate area with the name that he had given me. And there was a perfect match that came up. And so um, there were a few digits that were off on the street address and this guy was like 90 years old. So I was thinking, well, you know, we were having a good conversation and maybe when he was writing, he like started to write his phone number and then he, I don't know. But anyways, I was trying to justify why the street number was like a little bit off, but like everything else made sense. And so, I went to go follow up with him in person and I did my homework ahead of time because he did say that he was interested in selling his home in the near future. So I went ahead and drew up some comps and I had a really good idea what high fair market value looked like for his home um, since he was looking to sell in the near future. So I show up, I knock on his door, he answers and he told me, oh, now is not a really good time. Um, maybe you can come back some other time. And I said, yeah, I can come back tomorrow right around the same time. So I came back the following day around the same time. And when he opened the door, this guy starts yelling and screaming at me. And he was like, you freaking real estate agents just love to harass people. And, and I was 19 year old me that's only been in the real estate business for like a month, month and a half. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Like, <laughs> I was so confused. I'm like, okay, I just met this guy. He told me he's looking to buy and sell. I come to his door with value in my hand, ready to help him. And he's like yelling and screaming at me, like what the heck is going on? And this was one of probably my first five to 10 experiences with door knocking. And that happened and this dude's yelling and screaming at me and I'm like what the heck is this so I was so thrown off um, <laughs> I, I kind of forget like how I responded to him honestly I was so thrown off and it made me so upset I think I just told him oh you know I'm sorry I didn't mean to you know be too aggressive with following up with you you know if you need anything let me know and just kind of walked away from the situation. And 
looking back, like after, after that happened, I went to my car and I cried. I was so upset. I was like, why the heck was this guy talking to me like that? I was so confused. I'm like, what the heck? I was so thrown off and upset. And looking back now, I wasn't looking at that situation from the perspective that I look at it from now. Now I'm looking at it like, dude, why did you come to my open house and lie to me? All you had to do was come in and be like, oh, I'm just looking. I'm not, you know, looking to buy or sell in the future. Like, I wouldn't have shown up at your freaking doorstep with comps in hand ready to help you sell your home if you wouldn't have lied to me, to my face up front. Like, what the heck, dude? And then he's accusing me of harassing him and I'm like, hey, dude, I'm just trying to do my job. That is my job as a real estate agent, to offer my services and offer my value and my resources to potential clients to help them. I'm literally at your doorstep offering my help and you're sitting there yelling and screaming at me like, what the heck? So anyways, um, after that, that did kind of eat at me a little bit mentally and it probably took me another <laughs> month or two to go out and door knock again after that experience and um, since then um, I've been in the business now for about 16 months and I've knocked on hundreds of doors since then and I have yet to have a similar experience to that since then but it's so crazy how one of the first doors that I knocked on as an agent it just went south and it you know had nothing to do with what I did it was just I knocked on the wrong door <laughs> So, and for those of you who are young, aspiring agents like myself watching this, you are going to run into people like that, unfortunately, and you cannot allow situations like that to dull your inspiration because honestly, after that happened, I was really discouraged from door knocking again. I was like, what the heck is the next door that I knock on? Are they gonna be yelling and screaming at me? Like there was like a little bit of anxiety that kind of sparked in me after that. And you know, I'm a pretty positive person and I'm also very relentless <laughs> with my follow-up and with a lot of things in my business. Those of you who follow me a little bit more closely from the business aspect, um, know that I'm pretty relentless when I come when it comes to certain things and I'm very unapologetic and so for those of you who are aspiring agents watching this um, the grain of salt that I can leave you with today is to don't let the little things like that knock you off your path to success because I easily could have taken that experience and allowed it to just eat at me mentally and stop me from going out and helping more families achieve their real estate goals and you know allow that to create this anxiety in me that you know becomes an insecurity for me to go out and talk with people and I'm so glad that I was able to overcome that even though that was a curveball that was thrown at me very early on in this business um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And for those of you who are agents watching this, go ahead and let us know down in the comments some of the weird, crazy stuff that you've encountered as an agent. And if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. And do not forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.